Hello, in this video we'll be looking at how we can use Comfy UI to improve textures and details in 3D people from Blender. We'll also be looking at how to project it back on the Geo to compensate for some camera change. So let's dive in. Alright, this is my Blender scene which has our 3D model in it, which is just a principal shader applied to it with the texture that it um, came with. And I'm rendering uh, a 1080 by 1920 aspect ratio with denoising turned on to, to just get a clean image and we're just rendering that and taking that into Comfy. Alright, so in Comfy UI, uh, I'm gonna say double click and type in load image and uh, let's click on choose file and then I'm gonna bring in my render which is in this folder, bring it over here. Alright, so next I'm gonna bring in our model. So let's double click and type in load checkpoint and for this particular example i'm going to be using realistic vision model which is very good at um, rendering images with good skin textures so we're going to be using that and uh, next uh, we will add in our negative and positive prompt so let's type in a clip text encoder prompt this is going to be our positive prompt and I'm gonna create another one. Let's call it our negative prompt with red color. All right, next um, let's put in our sampler. So I'm just gonna be using a K sampler simple. And let's connect our model inputs and the positive and the negative. Next up, we will decode our uh, latent image. So let's uh, drag that in and then type in a VA decode. And it's gonna be dragging that VA input. In there and we will our we will uh, preview the image so this is just the basic image generation uh, workflow in comfy so the thing is we need to supply uh, a latent image to our sampler so for that we'll be using this image so for but first we need to convert it into a latent space so for that we will drag the image output and then do a VAE encode and use the VAE from our model. Next, um, we will use a, a latent mass node. So for that, let's type in a latent noise mask. So we'll take the samples input and the mask input from our image. We'll be creating a mask in a moment for this image. And then we will connect this to our latent image. Okay, so now let's draw in the mask. So what you can do, you can just right click over here and then go into open mask editor, which gives you this window over here. And then you can change the thickness of your brush. Um, and you can just draw the areas which you want to affect. I'm gonna quickly draw this, making sure I'm covering um, the legs, the body, and the areas I want to effect and then we're gonna click save node all right next we will start prompting our image um, so if you go to the website which um, civit ai where you can download this realistic vision model in the description you can see um, there is a set of negative prompts that works really well with this model so you can just uh, select all of that copy that in and then put that in the negative prompt Next, we will start describing what we want in image. So let's say lady photorealistic um, detailed and let's say American. And let's hit uh, Q prompt and let's see what we get. So obviously this is not what we wanted. So let's uh, describe our prompt a little bit more. So let's say lady uh, standing. And also I think I'm giving a little bit more freedom to uh, the model. So I'm just gonna restrict it a little bit more to the image we provided. So I'm gonna go 0.7. And um, let's also change the scheduler to Keras and the sampler to GPU. And let's run that again. All right, this is much closer to what we want. And uh, you can see it's um, actually keeping the pose the same um i also went a little bit little more down um with the denoise so i'm i'm at 0.5 
um, so this is what the workflow is and um, so let's just save this image and see how we can project it back onto the geo in blender so if you right click say save image and then let's just save that over here all right so in blender uh, i'm gonna select my model um, go to materials let's create a new material and let's add the principal shader to it and i'm gonna bring in our image so we're gonna type in load sorry that's <laughs> image texture uh it's gonna bring in the render we have from and let's connect that to the base color and make sure we don't have any spec on our model and now what we need to do is we just need to project from view so i'm going to select the model hit one and go to uv project from view and i'm going to assign that material to this geo and like that you have um, the texture applied to that 3d model but now you can also move the camera a little bit uh, obviously you can't go um, extreme uh, off angles because we don't have that texture but you can still compensate for small camera changes and yeah that was the video i hope you liked it uh, please like share and subscribe to the channel i'll keep making more of these um, and i think these ai tools are really cool and how you can implement and add them into your workflow um, so yeah keep checking out the channel and i'll see you in the next one thank you